Hey guys, my name is Lauren. This is the first book video on my book channel on YouTube. I haven't done a video in about three years now with my face in it anyway. I ended up posting a few gaming videos but that didn't end up working out for me so here I am now that I've discovered booktube deciding to expand my love of books and share it with all of you guys. My first video on this channel is going to be a book haul for the month of October. I got I think 19 books a few of them are box sets, a few of them are kind of books that I got in my loot crate and stuff like that. And a few that I got are actually recommendations from other booktubers that I watch and I'll probably list below just to, you know, share the love a little bit. So let's just get started. The first book I got is How to Survive a Sharknado by Andrew Schaefer. And I got this book in my loot crate this month. It has a bunch of information like if there's a Dino Nami which I don't think will happen anytime soon. It also has information on things like the Mothman, so that's kind of cool. I might actually sit down and read this, probably not. I might just have it on my shelf for a while before I actually get around to it, but who knows. The next book I got is a Rainbow Rowl book. It's called Fangirl. I'm sure lots of you have already read this. I picked it up mainly because I am myself a fangirl of many things. So I think it'd be kind of cool to read about something that I can relate to on a personal level. And I've heard plenty of good things about this book, so I expect to like it a lot. The next book I got is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, and I heard that it's supposed to be a very creepy kind of Halloween-y book, so I might try and get around to this before October ends. I probably won't get around to it till November, though. From everything I've heard on BookTube, it's a really good book, and I can't wait to read this and the sequel and the third book that's coming out sometime soon, I think maybe November. The next book I got is Cinder, the first book of The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I've been intrigued by this book since a couple summers ago when I saw it in a bookstore, and I just can't wait to actually read it, and I know that there's three books out right now. I'm not sure if that's all that there will be. I'm sure that I'm going to like this book because I love all pretty much all retellings of fairy tales. The next book I got is called Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And I heard about this on BookTube. I'd seen the spine before at other bookstores. I wasn't really intrigued until I heard people here talking about it and I went to the bookstore and actually read the first page. I almost sat down in the middle of Barnes & Noble and finished reading this book right then and there. The next book I picked up was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I'd seen Jesse the Reader here on YouTube rave about this book and everybody else that has that I've seen that has read this is just completely blown away. I picked it up in the hope that I would be blown away by Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children as well. The next book I got was Requiem, the third book in the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. I have the first and second book, and I read the first one, I think, three years ago now. The next book I got was Requiem from... The next book I got was Requiem from the Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. I read the first book, I remember liking it, but I want to kind of sit down and marathon the rest of them to see if I will still like them as much. I've heard this trilogy compared to the Uglies trilogy, I'm not sure if that's correct, but I really loved the Uglies trilogy, so I hope that this book is similar and that I will like it, like the whole series as much as I thought I would. The next book I got was Summer Falls and Other Stories with a new introduction by Amelia Williams, and this is from Doctor Who. It has the stories The Angel's Kiss and Devil in the Smoke by The Angel's Kiss is by Melody Malone and Devil in the Smoke is by Justin Richards who actually writes a lot of Doctor Who books and I love Doctor Who in case you couldn't tell and so I'm excited to read this book. The next couple books I got are actually part of a series in case you didn't know. This is the Divergent and Insurgent Collector's Editions. The Collector's Editions are pretty so I got both of these as well. And I kind of like the fact that they have the built-in bookmarks so I don't really have to worry about carrying one around and losing my place in the book because this one's built in, it won't move. What I like about these books actually is if you take the dust jacket off, it has the logo from the front of the book and it says, this one says Be Brave and it's signed V. Roth. Of course not actually signed, it's just a little thing. And then on Insurgent, if you take the dust cover off, and it says Be Strong by V. Roth and it has the logo from the front of the book as well. And I'm just, I haven't read these books, but I really, really, really loved the movie. So I'm hoping to maybe marathon Divergent and Insurgent, watch Divergent, and then go see Insurgent in theaters in March. The next books I got were the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. And I got this box set so they all match up like this. And if you put the covers together side by side, 
you actually get a really cool picture of all the major events that happened in the book series. I love this book series. I haven't owned it before and I'm really excited to have it now. The next box set I got was the Beautiful Creatures series, the first three books by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I've never read these books before and I haven't seen the movie, but I have heard really good things about them so I'm excited to sit down and read these. The last book I got was my personal favorite of the month and it's a coffee table book. It has a dust cover, I just took it off because I don't want to ruin it and I like the way the book looks actually which is kind of surprising. It's called The Essential Supernatural on the Road with Sam and Dean Winchester. If you stick around and watch more of my videos you will find out that I love Supernatural so much. It's actually more of a favorite TV show for me than Doctor Who which is kind of surprising and The Walking Dead is one of my top favorites as well but Supernatural beats out both of those. Maybe it's because Sam and Dean are so cute. Who knows? I do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. No, I'm just kidding. It actually has a really good story and I like it a lot. It has these really cool like attachments in the book and it has some stickers. But if you watch the show, you know what all these things are. And it has some postcards that are motel rooms that they've stayed at before. And it's just really cool looking. I mean, look at it. It says it on the side so you can even put it sideways and it's still supernaturally all over your bookshelf and it's just wonderful and I love it so much. I actually got it at Half Price Books for about 30 bucks and it's supposed to be 50 I think or maybe it was 20 I'm not sure. But this is one of my favorite purchases of the month and I can't wait to sit down and read it because it's supernatural. Why wouldn't I want to read this? It's just so... <sighs> Anyway, so that was my book haul, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around and watch a few more of my videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye! I love this book series. I haven't owned it before, and I'm really excited. Was Deepen It out three years ago? I don't remember. I know that it's actually part of a trilogy, I believe, the Smoke and Bone, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I actually got it at half price books. Ooh, I'm gonna just. Who knows? Not me.